Hi, this is Tila, and today I want to show you how to make an anti-tick, anti-bug oil. I use essential oils and I use a coconut base as a carrier oil. I like to use this to prevent ticks so that I don't have to use DEET or chemicals. And I really like um, the essential oils, how they smell and how they penetrate deeply into my skin. Um, I also use them for other um, rashes or skin infections, things like that. Um, it's really great for drying out infections, so you can custom blend your oil accordingly. Uh, today I want to show you specifically a tick oil. Um, and again, prevention of ticks is really highly recommended. Um, it's the ticks are really crazy now so I, I personally have dealt with it I did two Lyme's disease cleanses in my life and, um, and it was very difficult but it's very treatable uh, so hang in there if you have that and in in the meantime prevent it okay so I want to show you quickly um, the recipe I'm gonna take you over to my workstation and um, Sorry about my setup, I'm, I'm working on a new, uh, this is new, and just want you to be able to see. So the oils we have here. I'm gonna give you the recipe, okay? So now we have uh, about one third cup of coconut oil. I really like coconut oil because it's antiviral and antibacterial, antifungal. It's a great base. It smells great. It blends great with these oils. Um, so for this oil in particular, there, there are specific oils that ticks hate. They hate rose geranium. They hate cedar, lavender oil. So you would take this essential oil and drop drops into the coconut base. Um, I've already blended it, but it's very simple. In this case, you want to do 20 drops of 20 drops drops of tea tree, 20 drops of cedar, uh, you could do 10 drops of lavender, uh, you could add neem, citronella, this also works for other types of bugs, mosquitoes, uh, you can just look online what um, what mosquitoes don't like and and then blend your, your oil that way. Um, I also use this for bacterial skin infections and viral and fungal. Um, tea tree is a great base for all of those. Um, and I'll give you a quick list of the oils that um, that bacteria hate. So they hate tea tree, neem, orange, patchouli, eucalyptus, really great oil. Um, also viral, antiviral, eucalyptus, um, peppermint, lavender, um, uh, thyme, clove oil, and oregano. And you have to be very careful with, careful with some of these oils because they can really burn your skin. So that's why we have the carrier oil, okay? So, um, so yeah, so those are some of the oils. Antifungal, tea tree is wonderful. You could also use neem and uh, eucalyptus, peppermint. Um, and yeah, so again, you can simply customize your blend. Just figure out what it is you're dealing with. I'm going camping this weekend, so I wanted something that targets ticks, but actually, um, this works for fungus also, or any other type of skin infection. Sometimes we get, um, when we're doing detox, we will actually um, have a, get a rash from doing a detox. So that internal cleansing will release, the liver will release the toxins out of the skin. So sometimes when the liver is clogged or it's going through that detox process, it will eliminate through the skin. So um, there's nothing to be ashamed about having any sort of skin infection or uh, reaction. Uh, sometimes we just, we get this from the food we eat as well. So it's very important to treat internally as well by eating an allergen-free diet. Uh, sometimes gluten uh, can create issues as well and sugar. So like if you have a fungal infection, you want to avoid sugar. If you have eczema, you want to, um, you know, you want to also maybe Maybe avoid sugar and um, so there's you know a lot there so again you want to treat the internal as well as the external um, so yeah thanks for listening um, I'm gonna be doing more of these videos um, so please uh, notice them and um, I'm going to be food doing food recipes as well okay so bye